Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It's Friday the 29th of September. I'm Nigel Croft. In this short video, we'll be looking at the charts on the Nikkei 225 index. What we'll see is that it looks good. It looks bullish. On the weekly, you'll see that we're breaking upwards. On the daily, you'll see that perhaps we're going to have a bit more consolidation, but it does look good and the momentum looks strong. Let's look at those charts. So starting with the weekly, and you can see that the Nikkei came back in um, August, found support from the rising 50 day moving average and over the last three weeks has, has risen um, above the rising 20 day, 20 weeks, sorry, moving average, which is the yellow line and um, is now breaking into new ground, high ground for the year. You can see that back in 2015 uh, there the index was at this level and there is a bit of resistance that needs to be broken up to about 21,000. However, momentum is strong. You can see the RSI is in a nice uptrend and it's at 62.9 and um, is indicative of positive momentum and the MACD as well. The short term has gone above the long term. Can't really see it on this chart, but the short term's at 216 and the, the longer term at 210. So that's a bullish sign just coming out of the MACD. Moving on to the daily um, here, each candle represents one day's trade. Um, you can see that perhaps we're slightly getting overextended um, away from the rising moving averages. Um, there'd be no surprise if we actually went sideways for a few more days. Let, <clears throat> let these moving averages catch up um, and then, then move on upwards. Um, but the, the overall picture is positive. We've broken the, uh, we've broken the resistance. Uh, we broke the downtrend that was in place. Very strong move on strong momentum and really one would expect further upside. Um, positive that the 20 crossed the 50 on the 22nd of September. That was a golden cross. And also I like the formation where the 20 came back to the 200 and then bounced, bounced on up. RSI, um, you can see that uh, we didn't have a non-confirmation on this daily. Um, the peak uh, was higher than the previous peak, which is good. It's at a high level, 67.14, so very much indicative of positive momentum. And the MACD as well, although the differential has narrowed, short is still above long and their still, story is still above zero. On the short term picture, um, you can see that uh, we're finding support from the rising 20 uh, average on the four hour. Here, each candle represents four hours trade. So you can see the consolidation that's allowed the 20 to catch up. Uh, you can see this happened previously on the 26 and then we had a bounce up. So there'd be no surprise if we were to get another bounce. Um, but the 20 on the four hour isn't usually a significant support, really. Um, more likely look at the 50, uh, which is down at 2344. Uh, momentum is slightly being lost on the four hour um, and um, slightly in a downtrend. So be aware of that. That needs to pick up um, and the MACD also needs to um, move back the short term back above the longer term. So slight uh, queries or question marks coming through on the momentum on this four hour. And that's really why in the daily one should expect a further consolidation. Looking at the support and resistance levels, um, resistance um, five is at 524 spot nine. That's from the high earlier this week. And then at 2941, that's all the way back on the week of 22nd of June 15. Uh, support, uh, I haven't put the 20 from the 4 hour, um, starting with the 50 on the 4 hour, 23.44 spot 37. 
and then the 20 day at 19.979 spot 81. So that's been TA for traders having a look at the Nikkei 225. Um, the key takeaways from the video should be that in the medium term it looks good. Maybe in the short term we'll see a consolidation as we, as we saw in the four hour we're lacking upside momentum. Uh, however, there's limited resistance to any upside. We do expect it to break higher. Thanks for watching. Please remember these videos are for information only and in my opinions, they're not an investment recommendation. Please read the disclaimer. Thank you.